As you can see, it is a residential neighborhood where this happened. Police still here going through details as they continue to investigate this shooting that unnerved residents here. Yeah, I heard the gunshots. The same gun went off a couple of times. Whatever weapon they was using, it sounded like the same thing went off a couple of times. Longtime resident Karina Singh describes the gunfire on this residential street that broke out around 11.45 a.m. It happened, police say, after two officers spotted a man they'd been seeking and they radioed the sighting in. Two other cops, plain clothes officers, trailed the man to a house here. 62 Maple Road. He jumped over the fence, pulled out a black firearm and shoot and firing one round, at least one round at our officers. Our officers returned fire several times, striking him on the right side of his body. The police commissioner identified the man as 21 year old Javon Bell. Officers say that he'd been wanted in the case in which you see him in this surveillance image. They say that here he's showing a gun in a menacing incident earlier this month. It's the same gun investigators believe he used to fire at cops Wednesday afternoon. They say they'd also pursued him because he was the suspect in a May 10th robbery case. And the officers followed him in the backyard. Uh, and that's where the exchange of fire, gunfire occurred. It shook up some residents. You have seen stuff all over the place, cops running, you see, and you have no idea what's going on. And uh, it's kind of nerve wracking. Police say their fellow officers were taken to the hospital being treated for tinnitus. Meanwhile, the suspect in the case also in the hospital in surgery for multiple gunshot wounds, we are told. We're also told by the police commissioner that this suspect, Javon Bell, may have been connected to gang activity in the area.